there are all uh, very beautiful designs, vase, flowers, leaves, as well as birds. The first thing I've noticed about this work of art is that uh, I've noticed the design because it's contrasting, it's silver, and the background is black. So it has these frames that, are, that have curves, it has flowers, and this is not engraved, this is not embossed, but it's a mosaic of shell pieces that are shaped into vases, into leaves, and they are designed in order to fit such frames. painting uh, it says to be analytical to listen and as we can see depicted in the woman's faces that it is divided into four colors so technically there are four different angles and they're just put together and the color is a bright orange and as we can see closely the brush strokes are very smooth and there's no thick we're still here in BGC the gig and Behind me is a street art wherein it assembles art, uh, pop art. The first art movement that popped in my mind when I saw this artwork is pop art because of the woman which ensembles some of the famous words in pop art. And um, it reminds me of the retro times just like the 90s and the 80s because of the objects within these artwork. The old cassette, the television set, uh, the, the disc and the huge telephone. The combination of the colors, I, I can't say, but it doesn't look cold, it doesn't look too extreme, the colors aren't that bright, but it has this um, nice combination of colors that are pleasing to one's eye. So hi, I'm currently at Trinoma, and as if you can see behind me, there is a structure installed here at my back and it's full of lights. It's very wonderful and it's like optical art because it changes there. I'm going to show you a clearer view of this so you can see the colors. So here I played it in slow motion so you can see the transition of the colors and in addition to that... From what I can see, um, it's very bright and it's very colorful. So these colorful LED light panels which are in honeycomb shape are from a famous Korean restaurant in the Philippines and you can't deny that it's attractive because of its optical changes in colors. Hi, so this wood craft behind me is very beautiful because it is very well designed and as well as functional because it is also a door. So this doorwood craft behind me has curves, has very fine curves, and it, they are engraved. They are engraved curves, and if we can see closely, they are very well refined, and at the middle, it has this uh, focal point, wherein this is the pattern. It follows curves. It's very detailed, and uh, this door is proportionate. It has pattern, it says proportionate, and all the patterns has unity. Uh, it's proportionate because at the upper half of the door, we can see that this is the design, but after the middle point, uh, it, the design is also similar with the upper half. This object beside me is a wood craft that is any object that's made of wood and is aesthetically pleasing to the eye as well as functional because this uh, wood craft that is hand-shaped is a chair. This design is very familiar to me because we used to go to Baguio when I was a kid and all I've seen all my life that I remembered in their souvenir shops are these hand-shaped objects, some of which are as big as this chair, some are very small like a keychain, and some are this small because it's an ashtray. So if we look at it closely, the patterns are uh, very well crafted, just like the human hand. It is very polished and varnished in order to create this finished product that is ready to be decorated in your home. Hi, 
This pottery, this very beautiful work of art in front of me is a porcelain. And a porcelain is made out of a material such as ceramic that is heated in order for it to harden, to be ready for decorating. So a porcelain is a white vitrified translucent ceramic. And when some people say porcelain, some people think, uh, China. It came from China because good porcelains come from China. This beautiful porcelain in front of me can be finished with different design. So this design, it, it looks like a cattle. It has different curves. Of, it's of the color blue and if we can see closely, it looks like it's painted, hand painted specifically. It can be finished of different sizes such as uh, this one. It can be of different shape, it can be of different designs such as this design with flowers or it can be this small having curves, also flowers and it's painted in blue also or it can be of different shapes or different objects such as this teacup and lastly I have another porcelain beside me and it's very familiar, it associates a genie lamp and it's uh, designed with curves and also flowers to finish it off. So I found this vase at my grandmother's house. And this vase reminds me of Egyptian art because it's, it's uh, ancient and it also reminds me of the Gothic paintings because the Gothic paintings have gold backgrounds while this whole vase is gold and it's shiny. It just got old, that's why it, it uh, darkened a little. And as so, you can see, um, it has patterns. It reminds me of Aztec. It has dragon in the middle surrounding it, and the pattern all the way down creates unity, and the base is of proportion. This reminds me of also of the Egyptian art because it's old, it's gold, and it's a base. And uh, as we can see, the patterns, some of which are engraved and some are embossed. Renovated 